Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to get in better light here in just a second. I wasn't going to do a video today, but, um, and I wasn't even planning on leaving the house for another like hour or so, but my Kaylee, who is 14, she's in eighth grade, she just has been texting me all day that her allergies are still bothering her and she's just really having a hard time being at school. And I know it's bad enough that she has already gone to her math teacher's classroom and asked him for her homework, or her, I don't know if it's a male or female teacher. She's already asked them for the homework and she hates talking to um, teachers. She just, it's like one of her, the least favorite things that she, I mean, she just doesn't like doing it. So I know if she's really willing to talk to a teacher like that, that she doesn't feel good. And so I'm gonna go and grab her really quick. The problem is I'm in a rush because I'm gonna go do another one of my little scans. I get, I just volunteer to do these ultrasound scans. If you're not new, you know what I'm talking about, but um, I, that appointment is in like an hour. So I've gotta go and get Kaylee, get her back home, and then go back down for this appointment. So, um, Anyway, so I'm just hoping to get her home and rested. I think she also has anxiety because we have state testings at the schools this week. And I think that brings extra anxiety. You guys, do your kids get anxious about those tests? Do you have those tests? Here they're called, they're, I think they're called SBAC tests. It's like an acronym. But anyway, so I think she's just stressed about that and these allergies. Whatever trees are blooming right now is just getting us one by one kind of going through our whole family and our neighborhood and whatnot. So, I'm going to go get Kaylee. She, I'm betting, she won't be on camera. I can guarantee you that's where I'm at. Oh, but I wanted to talk to you guys. I'll insert some clips of our kind of a little fun time that we had at the park with Ashley yesterday. It's kind of an odd season for me, I guess, because we have sunny days and whatnot, but it's like my first season where I don't have a kid at home with me to go to a park, to be outside, to have an excuse. And so, and our kids don't like us going to the park with them around the neighborhood as much anymore. They just can go by themselves. And so Ashley finally let us take her to the park. Just her yesterday. So I'm gonna insert that because it was really fun. She just likes to run and play and, but she also doesn't mind being filmed. She thinks it's actually kind of fun and part of her play. So she kind of had fun with that as well. So I'm gonna insert that. See everything. just been having some things going on, some things that we tried to be planning. They started to fall through this weekend 
and that's kind of why my day Saturday was kind of hard. It actually kind of hit Friday. So I just wanted to kind of explain that now that things have kind of all settled out. So it's kind of story time. I need to kind of backtrack to how this all happened. Back in November, it was actually on Black Friday. Or yeah, I think it was on Black Friday, um, right after Thanksgiving. My friend texted me and said that there was a Black Friday deal going on with Princess Cruises online that they had like a dollar deposit for the cruises. So you really didn't lose money if you went ahead and booked a cruise. It kind of gave you the option of kind of floating that trip out a couple months before you actually had to pay for it to kind of think about it and plan it and see if it was possible. So I went ahead and booked it um, clear back in November. Now these aren't like week long cruises. This is when they take the cruise ships up and leave them in international waters. Hang on. So there are these one day cruises. The boats are stored uh, in international waters and this one is stored up in Canada, in Vancouver, Canada. And then when they are gonna start their summer season cruises, they bring the boats down to Seattle and then down into California to start their cruises out into all the different places. So in order to get the boats down here to Seattle and then California, they offer discounted prices on those one day cruises. Some, some of them are two day cruises depending on if it's gonna go clear down to California. They offer discount prices for those cruises and they have a full staff. Like everything runs just like a normal cruise and you pay like half the price or even less than half, half the price. And then we've done it before. I have done a girls trip with just me and my girlfriends and I have done a girls trip with me and my daughter and then the other moms brought one of their daughters as well. I wasn't able to do it last year so when the opportunity came up this time, I decided to go for it. And my girlfriends all wanted to do it as a couple's time, which I thought was perfect because I, I needed to get away with Jason as well. Mind you, we had not booked our trip to Hawaii yet. My cars hadn't broken down yet. We hadn't hit a deer. Like all of these things that you guys now know have happened, hadn't happened at this point in the game. So at this point I'm thinking, go on a cruise with my husband for two, three days um, at the cost of about $200, $201. Sounded like a really fun option, a cheap way to go and have a good time. So I went ahead and booked it. Then everything hit the fan. The car started breaking down. Jason's car broke down. And then we went and booked a trip to Hawaii at the same, right in the same time frame. So we've just been thinking about it and it's already been paid for. The credit card has already been billed and paid for. And so we've been talking about it and thinking about it and couldn't decide if we wanted to go. So the more I got talking to Jason about it in the past couple weeks, I kind of thought maybe we wouldn't do it. There's some other stresses going on that we really aren't gonna talk about. But um, in terms of the cost of it and the ease of it, I have a family member that's gonna watch the kids there really wasn't any extra cost at this point in the game, and so we just felt like it was an easy thing to go do. Um, it, yes, it's not even time away from work for him. He literally has those days off work normally. But then, I went to pull his passport out to get the final registration stuff online. Sorry, Kaylee's texting me. I got all the passports out and checked on my driver's license and everything, and Jason's passport expired 10 days ago. And I discovered that three days ago. So, problem. I spent all of Friday, and oops, a little close. I spent all of Friday and part of Saturday trying to figure out a way to get Jason a passport, and he also has a regular driver's license and not an enhanced driver's license, which you can use to get out of the country as long as you're not flying. And we just need to go into Canada, get a hotel, get on the boat, leave Canada, come home. That's all we needed to do. But he does not have an enhanced driver's license and it takes three weeks to get an enhanced driver's license. And the online cost for his passport to get expedited to get to him in time for us to go on this trip was gonna cost $400 just for the expediting cost, and then the passport cost is about 170 to $200. So now the quick and easy, cheap trip was turning into an extra $600 cost, which we decided not to do. 
but I went ahead and made him an appointment at the passport office for this morning and he went to the DMV last week just to check and make sure he couldn't use a temporary card to go ahead and get out of, in and out of the country and they said no to that. So Jason went to the passport office this morning and you guys, it was incredible. I'm gonna insert the clip of the phone call that I had with him this morning and then I'll come back. Okay, tell me what's going on. Now that I guess we have it, we can pick it up Wednesday anytime. Wait, um, for real? Yeah, I just got 230 some bucks. Um, was, that, was that the total cost or was that just for the expedited? That's the cost, that's maybe expedited, it's, it's everything. Dude, that's uh, awesome. The cost of the passport was 170 to begin with. So you yeah, got- well, and $30 because they said, look, in 2020, you're not gonna be able to use your driver's license anymore. So you, if you wanna get the passport card, it's only $30 more. Because if you're on your trip and you lose your passport, you can't fly. Right. So I was like, 30 bucks, what the heck? I did have to pay $35 more so I didn't have to get out and uh, fill out a form. That's ridiculous. Why can't you just like... Anyway. Oh, well, I'm glad. Yeah. Can, can so I... Now we got to coordinate coming and picking it up. Can I pick it up or do you have to? No, you can pick it up. Yeah, I don't have anything. I can get it. I couldn't even believe it. Um, I, he won't be able to pick it up tomorrow, neither will I. So we're just gonna go and pick it up the next day. I'm gonna go down by myself. And he just has to sign a receipt that signs it over to me. So I'm so excited. Um, now I have to book a hotel because we've been holding off on all these decisions. And all of our friends are excited again. They kinda got nervous that we weren't gonna get to go and had to rearrange babysitters and all that kind of stuff. But um, I've been holding off, I haven't been packing, I haven't been doing anything. Really, it's like a one night thing, but actually it's a two night thing. So, I'm gonna make sure I get his passport and then I will probably pack because <laughs> I wanna make sure I have that in hand. So, let me go get Kaylee here really quick. I didn't really make, intend to make this a car chat, but I was able to double multitask. Mothers always have to multitask, even if it's not quite legal. Shh, don't tell anyone. Also, I don't know if you can kind of see, but my kids live in the most gorgeous school campus area possible. Try not to show the school, give it away, but we live in a gorgeous place. I got her. I got her just a little bit. Okay, now you want to just go home, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take her home. She's crappy. I never. Wait, 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 stop. Oh my gosh, these guys literally... Did you empty your backpacks? Yeah. Ashley. <laughs> You're lying. Yeah. Caught you on camera. Did you empty your backpack? You're lying. It's work. Oh my gosh. All right, so I never have them home after school. They run home, drop their bags, go to the bathroom. Yes, have a snack. Watch TV for two seconds, and then they're off to playing. I don't blame you, it's beautiful outside, right? Yeah. I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna capture as much as I can while you're home. Yeah. Empty your lunch bags. You guys are gonna have the habit done by the time school is over. I don't have a habit. Yeah, which is gonna be in like a month. Um, tried to, but it's okay. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you guys gonna go play outside? outside. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Bye. Oh. Hey, careful. That's why they're never in the videos, you guys. Like, they're never in a video. I'm still working on my computer. I've been trying to edit a video and I keep getting distracted. But I'm booking our hotel finally for this little cruise trip and. Prices just went up, so I'm kind of trying to reverse back into a better deal. So, I'm not doing anything exciting, so you'll have to stay tuned until something else exciting ha happens here at the house. Kaylee's up in bed still. She seriously doesn't feel good, 
and Abby's probably up doing homework. So that's what we're doing. Oh, and Jason has to stay late getting some stuff done at work, and then he is going out with one of his partners, his, one of his business partners for dinner. So he won't be around tonight, which means I don't have to work very hard on dinner. I'm not gonna lie, if he's not gonna be home for dinner, I don't make much effort. Kaylee's already made mac and cheese, so I can't go that route. They probably won't wanna do that again. If you guys have easy dinner ideas, go tell me on Instagram, because I don't care about cooking. I just don't. Okay, I gotta get computer work done. When the kids come back home, we'll film again, because you don't need to see this face again. All right, so part of our routine at night is we chat with Daddy on the phone while he's either coming home from work or at work still. Right, guys? Yeah. Can you say hi, Ashley? Say hi to Daddy. Hi. Hey, girls. How you doing? Good. Hang on. Are you guys out playing? No. Are you guys out playing? No. No, they no. they were out playing. You ordered it wrong. Oh, well, that's what I meant. Like, they're out playing. Yep. Ashley, you want to talk to Daddy while you unload the dishes? What did you have to say to Chelsea, though? Nothing. Anyway. All right. Well, I'm uh, where I need to be, so I guess I will. Uh... Oh, Doug's here. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Say goodnight to Daddy. He won't be home before bedtime. Yeah. And you can't say you want to tell them not to wait up for you tonight. No, you can't wait up. I'll come check on you, but you should be asleep when I get home. Okay, you hear him? Yeah. Okay, you heard it from the source. All, All right. right. Love you, girls. Love you. We'll see you later. Say hi to Doug for me. All right. Dog. Bye. Bye. Okay, Ashley, tell me what you were doing today. Um. Well, we were playing at Ebba's. We were playing at Ebba's, and we did. Um, we played outside for a few minutes, and and um. We go inside and play restaurant and Chelsea and me were the um two customers and and like we got um cheesy goldfish. But they, That's good. But we we did it a long time ago but we did cheesy cheese it. Cheesy cheese it? Yep. Those are pretty good. All right, so we're doing our sight words to end our video. What's that word, Ashley? Uh, uh, mm. Come. Mm -hmm. Come. And the E silent. Yep, good job. Every. What's your next word? Show them. Four. Okay. Here. Good job. R. Good one. Said, play, you, and. Good job. Should we make a sentence to say goodbye to our friends? Okay. Come and play here. On. 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 You, too. Say good night. Good night. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Good night. Night, guys.